The Animal Kingdom Taxonomy is a branch of science concerned in classification of organisms or living things. Classification of Animals This is the grouping together of animals with similar characteristics. Animals can be classed as either vertebrates or invertebrates. The Distinguishing Characteristics of Vertebrates Phylum chordata includes the well-known vertebrates such as fishes, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. All vertebrates have backbones. They have skin coverings that protect them and help them adapt with their changing environment. They reproduce sexually. They have large bodies. The vertebrates also have differences. Ectotherms. They are cold-blooded animals. Their body temperatures depend on the temperature of their surroundings. Their body receives heat from the outside. Examples of cold-blooded animals are alligator, fish, lizard, snake, frog, and crocodile. And the terms. Animals with constant internal body temperatures. They are warm-blooded animals. Their body cells produce enough heat to keep their bodies warm, even when the temperature changes in their surroundings. Examples of warm-blooded animals are elephant, humans, dog, eagle, whale, and cat. Fishes or class Pisces Fishes are vertebrates that line in water. They are cold-blooded animals. They have a body shape adapted for living and moving in aquatic habitats. Their bodies are protected with scales. The tail is used for locomotion while fins are used for steering and maintaining balance. They breathe through their gills. They mostly undergo external fertilization. Fishes are divided into three groups, namely jawless fish, cartilaginous fish, and bony fish. Jawless fish are believed to have first appeared on Earth over 500 million years ago. Today, there are only two surviving groups, the hagfish and lamprey. They live in fresh water and salt water. They are characterized as long, snake-like fish with no scales. Jaws are absent. They have a suction mouth with teeth which they use to hold the prey. They have cartilaginous skeleton, lack central vertebra and paired fins. They have no gill slits. Instead, they possess a series of pores for gas exchange on the side of the body. The cartilaginous fish. Sharks, rays, and skates are cartilaginous fish. Their skeleton is made of cartilage instead of bones. They are mostly found in warm, tropical seas. Sharks live in an open part of the sea and are considered the ultimate hunters. While rays and skates live at the bottom of the sea are not as aggressive as sharks. Bony fish They are the most diverse of the fish groups. Most of the fishes you know belong to this group such as milkfish, tilapia, and salmon. Bony fishes live in almost every aquatic environment, salt water and fresh water. They have a gas-filled sac known as a swim bladder which helps maintain balance. Their gills are covered and protected with a flap called an operculum. Amphibians or class amphibia the word amphibia means double lives, which refers to the ability of the animals to live in both land and water. Frogs, toads, and salamanders are amphibians. They are also cold-blooded animals, which means their temperature depends on the temperature of the surroundings. They feed on insects, worms, and other animals. In order to live in both land and water, amphibians have legs instead of fins as well as lungs for breathing air. 
The moist surface of their skin enables them to absorb oxygen from the air. Because of the need to keep their skin moist, amphibians usually found in wet environments such as ponds or swamps. In hot dry days, they may bury themselves in mud to prevent their skin from drying up. Reptiles or Class Reptilia Reptiles are cold-blooded animals. They can also live in both water and land. Although they are more adapted and can live on land for long periods of time. This is because they have developed lungs as well as body structures that enable them to fully live on land. Reptiles like fishes and amphibians are ectothermic vertebrates. They have dry, waterproof bodies covered with hard scales. Their body covering helps the terrestrial species to prevent too much loss of water from their bodies. It also allows the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide across the skin. Reptiles produce eggs that have tough leathery shells. Fertilization takes place inside the reptile's body. They have a three-chambered heart like the amphibians. Lizards have four legs while snakes don't have legs. They move about by means of scutes. The snakes have very poor hearing and eyesight. They are equipped with keen sense of smell and taste. They use their tongues to locate their prey to gather information about the environment. Turtles and tortoises have shells as an important structural adaptation. They pull their heads, legs, and tails into their shell in the face of danger. A large skin responsible for the color pattern and markings on the shell covers their shells. How do turtles and tortoises differ? Turtles have flat, streamlined shells. Most turtles are aquatic. They thrive in ponds, lakes, rivers, or oceans and return to land to lay eggs. Tortoises, on the other hand, are terrestrial. Alligators and crocodiles are very similar to each other in appearance. They are shaped like lizards, can grow as long as a small boat, and have large deep scales on their backs. They also have differences. Crocodiles have a narrow, triangle-shaped head. Alligators have broad head with a rounded snout. These reptiles can be found in tropical areas and are mostly aquatic. It's no surprise you'll see crocodiles in the Philippines or hear of people being attacked by these reptiles. Birds or class apes. All birds have feathers. They have beaks instead of teeth. All birds have wings, but not all can fly. They also lay eggs with shells just like reptiles. Birds are warm-blooded animals. They are able to regulate their body's temperature. They remain active in cold and warm climates. They have respiratory system that includes air sacs which give them a unique mechanism for breathing. Most birds can fly with a few exemptions such as emu, penguin, and kiwi. Even chickens can fly short distances. This is because Birds have very light bodies which consist of hollow bones. They also possess flight feathers found in wings and tails which are arranged in a way that help carry and lift the bird up in the air. Different birds have different body structures that help them adapt to their environment. There are about 9,000 species of birds. They are grouped into four main kinds. These are perching birds, water birds, flightless birds, and birds of prey. Perching birds. These birds have feet that are formed in such a way that they can easily collapse a tree branch. Their beaks are long, thin, and strong enough to crack nuts or open tree barks. Examples of perching birds are woodpecker, sparrow, crow, and lark. 
water birds. These birds have long and flat beak and web feet. They stay in water most of the time to get their food. Examples of water birds are ducks, geese, and swans. Flightless bird. These birds have small wings and a big body so they cannot fly. Many flightless birds live in large open spaces in the deserts or plains. Examples of flightless birds are ostrich, emu, penguin, and lark. Birds of prey. They have strong and curved beaks to tear their prey into pieces. They have talons or sharp claws to grab and hold their prey. Examples of birds of prey are hawk and falcons. Mammals or class mammalia. The term mammal came from the word mama, which means breast. They are the only group of animals with mammary glands which produce milk to nourish their young. All mammals are warm-blooded. They are able to self-regulate their internal temperature. Their bodies are covered in fur or hair that serves as protection. They are more developed organ systems too. Their heart has four chambers to efficiently circulate blood and a strong diaphragm assist their breathing. Most mammals has two sets of limbs used extensively for movement and obtaining food. As to their manner of reproduction, mammals are born alive rather than hatched from egg. But there is an exception. Of all the animals, mammals are able to give the most care and protection to their young. This may be because they have more developed brains than any other animals. Humans, however, have the most developed brains, which is why they are referred to as the thinking animals. The three major groups of mammals Monotremes or egg-laying mammals Monotremes are egg-laying mammals. The duck-billed platypus and the echidnas are the only living mammals that lay eggs. They are expert swimmers and divers and can stay underwater for several minutes. They are strong burrowers. They make two burrows, one is for general living quarters and the other is for breeding. They are found only in Australia and New Guinea. When the babies hatch, they are fed with milk from the fur of their mother. The spiny antithier or echidna lays only one egg at a time. The egg incubated in the pouch. Once hatched, it remains in the pouch until its spines appear. It does not become independent until it is about one year old. Their main food is ants. Marsupials or the pouch mammals. Marsupials are popularly known as the pouch mammals. They differ from the other mammals because they have an abdominal pouch used to carry their young. Examples of marsupials are the following, opossum, koala, and kangaroo. We have also wombats and Tasmanian devils. The mother gives birth while the babies are still not fully developed, so they complete their development while feeding. The young marsupial, called Joey, stays in the mother's pouch for several months. The pouch has a strong muzzle around the opening to prevent developing baby from falling out. In the case of the kangaroo babies, they are prematurely born just over a month after fertilization. Placental mammals or placentals. Placental mammals, also referred to as uterian mammals, give birth to live young. They include such diverse forms as elephants, shrews, dolphins, giraffes, and those which we are most familiar with like dogs, cats, sheep, cattle, and horses, not to forget that this group includes humans. They have a longer period of pregnancy. The young placental mammals are nourished before birth in the mother's uterus through a specialized embryonic organ called placenta. 
they are born alive when they have fully developed inside the mother's body. Most placental mammals include the rodents and bats. Placental mammals inhabit both on land and in water. Kinds of Placental Mammals Insectivores or Insect-Eating Mammals The insect-eating mammals include the mole, shrew, and hedgehog. The mole is blind but is able to dig long in the dirt. It is a burrower that eats grubs and worms. The hedgehog looks like a porcupine since it has spiky hair. It eats insects only. Other examples of insectivores are armadillo, advark, and giant antitir. Rodents The largest family of mammals is the rodents. Rodents are found to inhabit on all continents except in Antarctica. A rodent simply means knowing animal. Rodents have large incisor teeth and they gnaw on their food. Some familiar rodents are mice, rats, hamsters, and guinea pigs, which are commonly kept as pets. Other examples are the following, beaver, porcupines, chipmunks, and squirrel. Some rodents are economically important as sources of food or fur in some parts of the world. Others use in biomedical research. However, rodents don't have a good record when it comes to crops. Some rodents are carriers of human disease such as bubonic plague, leptospirosis, and typhus. Flying Mammals Bats are only mammals that fly. A bat's wings are like the hands with the skin which stretches between its very long fingers. Most bats are nocturnal animals. They feed at night and rest during the day. They rely on echolocation instead of their eyes for locating food at night though they are not blind. Like all other mammals, their young are fed with milk from their mother's mammary gland. Flesh-eating mammals or carnivores Animals belonging to this group have well-defined sharp canine teeth, which they use for curing flesh. Their main method of getting food is to kill and eat other animals. The marine flesh-eating mammals are walrus, whales, seals, and sea lion. The terrestrial flesh-eating mammals are bear, tiger, lion, and raccoon. Hoof Mammals This group of mammals is divided into two subgroups, the odd-tooth and the even-tooth animals. Examples of the even-tooth cud-chewing mammals are the cow, sheep, goat, camel, giraffe, and deer. Here are some examples of odd-tooth chewing mammals. Some hoof mammals can have horns. The cow, ox, and bison have hollow horns that they never shed. The deer, elk, caribou, and mouse have solid, large horns that they shed sometime in their lives. Aquatic or semi-aquatic mammals Marine mammals fall into three groups. More common members are the groups of cetaceans like the whales, porpoises, and dolphins which spend their entire life in the water. They are well adapted to life in the ocean. Other aquatic mammals include the seals, sea lions, and walruses which spend part of their life cycle in a terrestrial habitat. Manatees and dugong belong to the third group of marine mammals. They spend their entire life cycle in water. They are the only herbivore aquatic mammals. Primates Humans belong to the primate family. Other members to this group include a monkey, baboon, orangutan, chimpanzee, and gorilla. Primates have some distinct features which distinguish them from other groups of mammals. They have large, highly developed brains with intelligence that enables them to develop language, communicate, and work effectively in their environment. 